So we got a couple surprises today by Mojang, the first one being a brand new snapshot titled 20W22A, which makes some interesting changes to villagers and their workstations. We'll be going over all the information in today's video, of course. I have to say I'm very surprised that we actually did get a snapshot this week because normally they like to release them on Wednesdays. It's obviously Friday or depending when you're watching this, it could be Saturday. But yes, we got a brand new snapshot and it does hint at the fact that they're getting ready for pre-release. So we should be actually getting a release date very soon and they are preparing, they are polishing this update and just getting it ready for the actual release on Bedrock and Java Edition, which is really exciting. We also got our first look at Minecraft Dungeons brand new DLC titled Jungle Awakens. So we'll be going over the information for that as well. Some really awesome things going on with Minecraft Dungeons. If you haven't played it yet, it's a lot of fun. And it's only $20. If you have the money, I think it's definitely worth picking up. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you're just really excited for the Nether update, for the next update, 1.17, do me a huge favor and destroy the like button for me. In fact, let's see if we can get over 34 likes in today's video. That'd just be a huge help. And don't forget to hashtag Stealth Army as well, because I will be liking and favoriting some of the best comments in today's video. I will also have all the information down below, so feel free to check it out. But let's kick things off with 20W22A. And this is what they have to say about this brand new snapshot. It's been a busy week for us, but we still wanted to squeeze out a snapshot as we've been busy squashing a bunch of bugs. Enjoy your weekend. Experimental rendering changes. We've included some experimental changes to graphics rendering in the snapshot, which might reveal some issues on a small number of older graphic cards. If you do find any graphical bugs, then please report them to the bug tracker with the make and model of your graphics card as well as which operating system you are using. New features in 20W22A include piglins now sometimes dance in celebration of a completed hunt. And if you haven't seen it yet, here it is. Changes in 20W22A include villager workstation logic changes. Bells can be hung from the underside of more blocks. When a villager that was traded with is struck by lightning, the witch it converts to will no longer despawn. Players can no longer mount another entity when the crouch key is held down. Now let's talk about villager workstation logic because it's actually gone through a ton of changes. Villagers no longer try to work at the same workstation. The most experienced nearby villager for the profession corresponding to the workstation you add will get the workstation. Villagers now have to walk to and reach the workstation before they can acquire the profession work there. Villagers can no longer claim workstations slash professions during raids or nighttime. Villagers will check and make sure their workstation is valid at all times of the day as long as they are within 16 blocks of their workstation. So I think it's great to see that Mojang is continuing to improve and work on villagers, make some changes, and just make them a little bit more realistic or at least how they interact in their environment. It's great to see and I hope they continue to add more new villagers, maybe magicians, maybe some sort of like knight or some sort of sorcerer would be cool as well. Let me know what you guys think about villagers and some changes you would like to see. But let's actually talk about the brand new DLC for Minecraft Dungeons, which will be coming out very soon. Let's get started. You probably already know that we're currently working on a new content for Minecraft Dungeons, especially if you've purchased the Hero Edition. However, what you might not know is that the first of the two planned DLCs, Jungle Awakens, is coming in July. In this adventure, you'll enter a distant, dangerous jungle to fight mysterious power in three new missions. To defeat the terrors hidden among the vines, you'll have new weapons, armor, and artifacts at your disposal. Once you've had enough of the jungle heat, you'll explore some frozen peaks in creeping winter. The second addition to Minecraft Dungeons will be coming later this year, so keep an eye on this blog and our socials for future sneak peeks. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really good about getting the Hero Edition right now. And it's not just because of the baby chicken that comes with it. Have you seen how cute it is though? Did you think that was it? Far from it. The team is also working on adding cross-platform play functionality and cool new free content for Minecraft Dungeons that everyone will receive regardless of edition. We'll come back with more details in the coming weeks. In the meantime, equip your favorite weapon and show the Arc Illager who's boss. Get it? I'll see myself out. 
So that's everything we know so far about this brand new DLC, which will be coming very soon. And then we have a second DLC called Creeping Winter, which will be released sometime later this year. They didn't give us an exact date yet, but nonetheless, we have a ton of content coming to Minecraft Dungeons, and some of it will be free as well. So a lot of cool things happening with this game, a lot is planned for Minecraft Dungeons, and then there's still a possibility we could see even more content from Minecraft Dungeons make its way to Minecraft in a future update. We've already seen a ton of features like lanterns as well as pillagers originated on Minecraft Dungeons come to Minecraft. So keep your fingers crossed guys. Hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you do me another huge favor, just leave a like and just be very supportive. Notification squad, y'all are the best and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care everyone. Peace.